Hi everyone! Remember this big pot of pothos that has appeared in a few of my videos? Well, this is what it looks like now. I went away for a vacation three weeks ago and came home to this. See, I knew my plants would suffer a little while I was away, with the lack of water and the thermostat being set to a slightly lower temperature, but I figured that going for three weeks without water is actually not that long in the winter, and most of my plants are considered beginner plants that are fairly easy going. So I figured if I just water everyone the day before I left for vacation and then water them again the day after I come back, they should be fine. Which is what I did. I watered them all before I left, and when I got back, they were all droopy and thirsty, as expected. A few plants had two or three dead or yellow leaves, which I thought was normal, but this one. This is the only plant that gave me this many yellow leaves, and it's a golden pothos. It's supposed to be almost unkillable. I do have two more golden pothos, and they're both fine, so I figured there must be something more going on with this particular plant. So I started checking for pests, checking for root rot, but there were no signs of these issues. Then I looked at my plant water tracker and realized that the last time I had watered this pothos was December 7th. And today is January 15th. Oops, I, basically I had somehow missed this plant when I gave everyone water the day before I left for my vacation. So here's me today, giving it lots of water. I was afraid that the soil would have hardened from being dry for so long, but it didn't seem that bad. Still, I let the plant sit in the extra water in the saucer for about half an hour to soak up more water it needs. In the meantime, I pulled off some of the yellow leaves. Well, some of the yellow leaves just fell off by themselves and I barely had to pull it off myself. Then the pile of yellow leaves started getting so big and the plant started looking so bare and I felt so bad for forgetting to water this plant last time that I just decided to stop cleaning up for the day and continue to work on this plant when it has perked back up. So I picked up all the yellow leaves, dumped out the water in the saucer, and crossed my fingers that the plant would perk back up in the next couple of days. And it did. Here it is about four days later. The leaves are no longer curled, which is a great sign, and the plant already looks better than before. There are still many yellow leaves, so I begin pulling them off again. After getting rid of the yellow leaves, I can see how bare the vines are, especially near the top, which is so sad to see because this plant looked so full and bushy before. I wanted to cut off the parts of the vines that had no leaves anymore because I just don't like the way it looks, and I also figured that pruning the plant will encourage it to grow back even fuller. So I started untangling the vines to see which vines I have to trim. Um, and then I took out my scissors and just started trimming away. I also cut off a couple of vines that still had some leaves, but the leaves were really small um, and I, I didn't really like the way they looked. I was going to throw away all the vines that I cut off, but I decided to save two of them and put them in a jar of water um, for decoration and for when uh, one day they have long roots, I can choose to plant into the pot.
The last thing I did for this pothos was taking a bobby pin to pin the top part of one of the vines around um, in, in the pot to hide the bare part of the vine. I hope that makes sense. I saw this trick in one of Plantarina's videos and I thought it was pretty neat. And yeah, uh, this is what my pothos looks like now. It's definitely a lot bare than before. Um, but it's still cute and hopefully when the spring comes, it'll grow back some big leaves. Another plant that has suffered from me being away is this Pilia depressa. For the record, I did water this plant right before I left, but I think because it's a relatively young plant, going for three weeks without water was still too long for it. It bounced back pretty well after I watered it. Uh, you can see in this clip, it's about four days after I watered it, after I got back from my vacation. So it's definitely perked back up. But you can see that some of the leaves were just so dried out that I could not save it. So I wanted to clean this plant up by pulling off the dead leaves and see what the plant looks like and perhaps take more cuttings and plant them back in the top to make the plant look fuller. And like the pothos, this plant doesn't look as cute as before, but I'm glad that it's alive and it's recovering. Hope you found this video entertaining. I'm sorry for not posting for so long. I hope you're all having a great start to 2022 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.